Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac. We're playing as Isaac this time. Let's be honest. We have now had two mom's knife runs in a row, sort of. Two runs ago we had mom's knife very, very briefly. And I do mean very, very... That didn't hit the tinted rock? Are you effing me? Again, I don't really care if we take damage on this floor. I'm just surprised is all. Um, but uh, on the last run we had mom's knife pretty much from the second floor onwards. And it was a run that, uh, you know, it had its share of uh, downs. But we ended up winning in the end, and, and winning quite handily. I would say that Mom's Knife and uh, Crystal Ball plus Nun's Habit had probably an equal say in that. I'm excited to play as Isaac. We were as Judas last time, so uh, to be in a position where I'm actually going to have the opportunity to choose some of my items, especially when it comes to deals with the devil, is pretty important to me. Going to help out a lot. Wouldn't mind getting the Guppy transformation, but we're going to say Mom's Knife is verboten for this run. Which is German for not gonna do it. Super bandage is a great item. I'm not gonna pick it up yet. But I will play the crap out of Demon Judgment. Come on, don't don't F with me too hard here. Alright, I mean you're effing with me harder than I would like you to F with me. So you know what? We will take super bandage here. How do you feel about that, Demon Judgment? Probably pretty psyched, because uh, it means that you're gonna get more life force, right? Oh, I'll be back. I'll be back, my friend. I really figured that it would pay out a little bit faster. A little bit scared by, uh, you know, the speed of lust here. My favorite uh, Coldplay song as well, but... I think it'll be dead pretty darn soon. Gave us two pills, both of which interest me. I will probably take them, but I'm gonna wait just a little bit longer. Just to make sure we're not in a dire position. I mean, we're looking pretty okay right now, but... Just wanna be sure about things. Two bombs is exactly what I wanted there, uh, at some point. I haven't decided yet whether I'm gonna take Harlequin Baby or reroll it. It's one of those items that is pretty much right on the borderline. Not bad, but not good enough to, you know, lose sleep over if you reroll it and you, uh, didn't need to reroll it. Like, if you get something shitty as a result. I think we're gonna try taking these pills and just see what we get here. Bombs are- I was so concerned about that! And luck up, okay. The reason I was concerned about that is because, uh, I wanted to be able to use a bomb here to blow this thing up and get more spirit hearts, but I guess in the whole scheme of things it doesn't really matter that much. I'm gonna give one more spirit heart to uh, Demon Judgment just to give us a chance here. Hey, it worked! And we got Brimstone. I said Mom's Knife was verboten. Brimstone. Absolutely nothing wrong with that in my uh, opinion, especially considering I had to nut up and uh, lose a spirit heart to make it happen. And then we get tarot cards. One tarot card could be worth more than Harlequin Baby. Uh, and the world... It's unlikely to be that tarot card, but it's okay. So we have Brimstone ready for the next floor. We have a lot of Spirit Hearts I would expect to get a deal with the Devil, and I would expect that we're gonna start with a, a lot of momentum on this run, if nothing else. So I'm pretty excited about the way things are going. Mr. Mega, great item, not just for the, uh, uh, the Mr. Mega ability, but the five extra bombs that will hopefully allow us to gain access to the secret room on this very floor. Yeah, no, no, no. Not there. You don't want to die there. You want to move. You want to move just a little bit and then die like, yeah, right. You don't have a bomb. I really thought you would explode with a bomb. With the Bob the Dang the Dang Dicky, of course. They aren't dead. Again, I'd like to, you know, defend myself a little bit. We will trade a bomb for a key there. And say that, uh, Brimstone doesn't, I'm going to use, uh, that actually, yeah. So we can save a key there. Ride a cowboy. Brimstone doesn't guarantee you a win. It's a good item. It's a great item, in fact. Uh, but it uh, it needs some other things to make it work. It gives you a great head start for actually making a successful run, but it is not a successful run in and of itself. I'm gonna blow up this fortune teller, and uh, sure, Kane's eye. But I do think there's pretty much no reason to actually go through with uh, using another bomb to get into the shop when we have zero cents. Pretty unlikely that we're gonna be able to make that work out in our favor. Uh, and we'll probably just end up being a waste of a bomb to maybe get a couple of pennies from fire or something like that. So this will be a Cuba meat. Just a, not a, not a Bahamas meat. Not a, uh, St. Kitts meat, but a Cuba meat. Just gotta watch out for the flies. I mean, there's pretty much no risk that we don't get a deal with the devil, I think. One or two more hits should be enough to seal the deal. There we go. And I'll pretty much, you know, take whatever I need here. Those are bad items. We re-rolled them. They didn't become that much better. But you know what, let's let's get low on HP and we'll take Rage with us. 
just for fun. And uh, the ability to fly, you know, I know I've been taking Spirit of the Night a lot lately, but it's been showing up a lot lately. I take whatever the deal with the devil gives me, and we tailor our run thusly. Half a Spirit Heart to check out our Curse Room was not worth it in hindsight, but in foresight, probably a good chance. Uh, let's look for a second secret room. There's a couple opportunities here. That's one of them, and that worked out. And the red chest in here gave me a Spirit Heart, which, you know, a bomb for a Spirit Heart I think is a pretty good deal. Alrighty then, so we did give up all of our HP already, except for one. Could still do like a nine lives thing uh, as time goes on, but for now we're just going to be content with what we have. Good damage, uh, damage that gets stronger as time goes on, well as the room goes on. I know that rage caps out really quickly and most people I think at this point consider it not worth the, uh, the price of admission. I'm not necessarily one of those people, I think it's okay. Spelunker's hat I think is okay as well. Basically, free second secret rooms. Can't really complain about that. Brimstone's charging up pretty quickly here. Which I don't mind either. Uh, we won't go to our curse room until we finish with this mob trap room. Just to make sure we have a reroll ready. Mm, yeah, we'll do it. Sure. Two pennies. Uh, a pretty shitty deal. That's okay, though. We'll get a reroll charge out of this room, and who knows what we could have gotten. You know, there could have been an HP upgrade in there. There could have been another golden chest that contained an HP upgrade. There could have been another golden chest that contained a half red heart. You know, it, it could have gone multiple ways. It's not fair to just just deal with the positives. The lover's card is not particularly useful for us, but exists. Should have opened this one earlier, but yeah. I don't think there's many situations where one chest is good and the other chest is garbage. No secret room there. Just wanted to stay quiet to see if Spelunkers had picked anything up. Probably should shoot the easier to kill target first, just to build up rage a little. Not that it's a major concern. And yeah, we're, we're sitting pretty right now, you know. Caves part one, we're not on the catacombs. Uh, we will pick up the matchstick slightly better than what we're already dealing with. Rerolls ready, but not really gonna do anything with them. No secret room here either. More money, it's starting to, you know, have a firm belief that the shop may actually be worthwhile here. We're up to 10 cents of our secret room ends up working out for us. Even better. And uh, yeah, this is the last shop that is guaranteed to not contain greed, so that's exciting news. Could be a big one. I think I will go to the secret room right away, even though there's a chance we can maybe get a, you know, bomb our way into a special room instead of using a key. And I wanted to do it just in case this exact situation happened where we uh, had a re-rollable item, which Bob's Rodden Head is, and I'll totally take the Ankh. Uh, I wouldn't mind, you know, killing ourselves on a deal with the devil and then respawning with four spirit hearts, depending on what that deal with the devil actually is. So we did manage to save a key on uh, our trip to the shop. Unfortunately, we don't quite have enough money to actually be able to buy the item. Uh, but with nothing else to really re-roll, maybe we will just, uh, you know, get ready to re-roll it. Let's see what we've got on here. Our second secret room contains a fortune teller, which again, I'm just going to explode for the money, basically. We got a bomb back, so that's not so bad. And we should finish our last room before we go through with this, just in case we get a deal with the devil and we want to reroll some of the stuff that's going on here. I would love to pick up uh, another spirit heart, so maybe we could generate a... Uh, well, there's a two rooms here. Maybe we could generate a uh, deal with the devil that costs three spirit hearts instead of our red heart. I would sign me up for that in a heartbeat. We're not going to get another reroll anyway, so we might as well just check out... Uh, maybe we would, actually. But I figured we might as well just finish this off just to see if we have enough money to actually make our shop worthwhile. We wouldn't have gotten another reroll. Unless, of course, our shop reroll gave us like 9 volt or something. But we would also have to reroll it at like half price. Alright, so we're going to save our reroll for boss and deal with the devil. Very sorry, ladder. Uh, we obviously don't want to buy you, but in addition, we. Eh, as much as I'd like to reroll, there's not really too much that we can actually do about it. Sorry for your loss. So, let us move along here. We'll head down. Gertie. Gertie's gonna be an annoying fight because our damage is not... Oh, wow, really? Uh, our damage is not particularly strong on an individual level. Of course, it'll build strong uh, as a result of rage, or it'll build to more strength as a result of rage. Um, but yeah, this is... Uh, it's gonna be a bit of a tedious fight. That being said, pretty much 0% chance of... Uh, not getting a deal with the devil, unless I take more damage against these flies, which would make me uh, an extremely sad individual. We can do this all day, Gertie. Uh, I'm fairly confident that you're not going to be able to damage me doing the thing that you're doing here. 
which is great news for me. I'm gonna have to be uh, you know, a little bit smarter about when I actually take these shots, but that's okay. And one last hit here. Hopefully a deal with the devil. No deal with the devil. Not that surprising. I'll just take the shot speed upgrade and the HP and we'll go down to the next floor. So far, so good. Uh, this run is not one, but very comfortable right now. And there is a, there's a slight distinction. There's... Oh, that was bad. There's a lot of uh, very comfortable runs that I've lost. Because uh, you're comfortable right up until the moment when you die. Death card. Um... You know, Death Card, I, I've said this many times before, but I think it's right on the borderline of being worth saving. So I was thinking we would use it on, like, the most difficult enemies on this room. But there might not be many difficult enemies on this room, but at, at the same time, I, I want to save, um... Ah, eh, we'll use it there. They're kind of annoying. I wanted to save the Lover's Card, because we actually can get some use out of it now that we have 2 HP. It's possible that we spawn an arcade on this floor. Maybe we can actually take some time to play it properly. I know people have been getting a little cheesed off by the fact that I've been a little bit dismissive about blood banks recently. Not dismissive like, eh, but dismissive like, I don't think it's necessarily worth my time. I don't really want to blow up that fortune teller or slot machine. We've been using so many bombs to just blow up uh, gambling devices. Not sure it's necessarily worth our time. So, half a Spirit Heart to check out our curse room is what I would consider to be uh, an acceptable trade, especially if there's an item in here. Which there's not. There's two pills. We don't know what any of them do. One is Tears Up. That's great. One is I Found Pills. So, I would say overall, we can consider that a, a net positive trade, wouldn't you? Tears Upgrade. Uh, inarguably one of the best pills in the game. Arguably the best, but it depends. I think it's more of a situational thing than uh, cut and dry. A lot of people would say HP up, sometimes balls of steel. Yeah, it's not a not a 100% set in stone kind of thing. We have a mini boss in here. Super Pride. I always get it confused. I'm like, you know, where's your where's your little friend? But there is no little friend on this one. Oh, jeez, run. Oh, a little scary there. We can just stay as far away as is humanly possible. Hello, Kate. How's it going? You're gonna go get a, a haircut. I'm jealous. That's uh, Tomo. Tomo's on the ground there. Tomo's uh, under the curtain. Oh, he is under the curtain. He likes to sleep like that, even though it makes him look like he's dead. Like, just his toes peeking out. In any case, that Ultra Pride fight didn't go particularly well. I am a little bit slow. We can probably adjust for that uh, if there's an arcade. But I don't really want to sacrifice a... Uh, well, I don't really think I have a good chance of getting the payout right now, even with this Lover's card, but I, I could be wrong. Red chest on the second secret room, two pills, one of them is bombs are key. The other one is luck up. We'll take the luck up, just because whenever I get a luck pill, I take it and just kind of let the chips fall where they may. And I took bombs are key as well. Uh, I think we're better off having eight keys than, than two keys. It's not like an eight keys versus eight bombs situation. I just looked at our keys and was like, well, they're the most valuable resource. So I'm gonna go to our uh, I'm gonna go to our shop here. This is, we're only gonna have one reroll for all of these important rooms, which is a problem sometimes. But uh, want to see if we can get the 15 cents. If there's greed in the shop, then it makes our decision of whether or not to play this judgment real easy. There's the magic amount of money. There's the map. Uh, we already have Spelunker's hat, but I think it is worth buying the map. And even if it means we can't play this judgment, Mom's pad is uh, very rerollable. Let's see if maybe we get some extra money here. But we'll see if maybe we want to re-roll a potential deal with the devil first. We should only have a, like, a minus 25% or a quartered chance of getting a, uh, of getting a deal with the devil. And actually, we're going to get a deal with the devil, uh, equivalent pretty much right off the bat. Now, with Mr. Mega... Oh, kill him. Thank you. Um, with, uh, Mr. Mega, I'm pretty confident this will be over quickly. Bad damage, but we still have red hearts. Uh, we still have a spirit art backing us up here. I should say. Oh, very lucky. Okay, the mark for free, no-brainer. Not re-rolling that. Deal with the devil. Krampus, this means we will be re-rolling Mom's pad and buying the map, I would say. Why buy the map when we already have uh, access to find the secret room super easily? Well, because uh, I like to know where I'm going, and if we get the compass, this will really help us out on later floors. So I have no idea what um, what Lump of Coal does in conjunction with Brimstone. It might not affect it at all. I'm going to take it regardless. It's just the kind of guy I am. I am whatever you say I am. If I wasn't, then why would I say I am? You ever think about that, people? Ooh. There's a weird shot from in there. Extra key. 
lump of coal. We have one cent to play this judgment with. I almost went down to the next floor. That would have been a pretty strong disappointment. Mom's pad gets rerolled into Peeper's eye, which doesn't really benefit us that much, but is better than Mom's pad for us in our current situation. The map joins the fray. And with one cent, I... It's worth a try, right? Sometimes you get lucky. All right. I had a feeling we probably wouldn't get lucky that time. Could have exploded him and had a better deal with the devil chance. Might have been the, the proper play, actually, even though we did get a deal with the devil anyway. You know, just because things work out a certain way in Isaac, if they work out in your favor, that doesn't mean you made the right decision. And if they work out uh, in the game's favor or not in your favor, that doesn't mean you made the wrong decision. There's a there's some dice rolling uh, inherent in Isaac that, you know, changes things. The right decision can sometimes lead to the wrong outcome. Judas Tongue. We're going to take it. Uh, I, I really doubt that we'll be able to make good use of it. Sure, key for a key is fine. Um... Yeah, like I really doubt we'll be able to use it, but if we are, sweet. All right, that's what we're hoping for, Polyphemus. Now, obviously, I'm not even going to shoot this poop because of what I'm about to say. It's going to take us 100 years to charge up each individual shot. It's going to be annoying, but also we are going to be doing an insane amount of damage. Which is pretty important considering our HP is still in a, you know, pretty much a truly terrible spot. Use a bomb here, maybe we get something useful on our secret room. Uh, well, we fight greed, that was easy. And again, this is like, it's a double-edged sword. We're doing insane amounts of damage, and a lot of these rooms we're going to be able to take out in one hit, as long as we uh, hit appropriately. But if there's any enemies alive after our first attempt, it's going to cause a problem. A small problem, but a problem nonetheless. All right, 15 cents. We're back. A dinosaur story. Do we know that there's bombs are key? Uh, it's not worth it. I forget what our other card is. It's still the Lover's? It's still the Lover's card. Oh, only hitting one there is a big disappointment. There we go. That's more along the lines of what I was hoping for. That didn't quite reach full charge. Now we did. And I thought I would get three there. Come on, guys. Get closer together here. It's getting a little ridiculous. All right. This is fine for now. Uh, with one bomb, I do want to access the uh, second secret room. We did find it. Lots of red hearts. We're pretty unlikely to find a uh, temperance card on this floor, but stranger things have happened, I suppose. There's our shop. That's an important one. And the tarot card. The sun. Well, substantially better than the lovers. This is a reroll, for sure. Ugh. Well, we can get one more reroll. Yeah, probably just one. And it's going to be high priority to use it on the shop. Because this could be our last, uh, our last good shop of the game. I would be very unsurprised if that was the case. Lucky me. Oh, we'll, uh, we'll go back for that nickel. I really doubt it'll be useful, but with two floors left, it's possible the next shop doesn't have greed on it. Although, I would consider it kind of unlikely. No bombs, so we can't... Oh, we can fly! What am I talking about here? No bombs, so we can't access that. Thank you. Love you too. Good luck with your haircut. Thank you. Tell them you want the Northern Lion look. No. Yeah, that would that would probably not give you what you want. Now, oh, okay, just uh, some clutch dodges in here. Wanted to see if maybe I could get everybody all at once, but I think yeah, there's just too many phases on those uh, silkworms for that to happen. Oh, flat penny is so good, but we're already okay on keys and. Uh, Oh, I didn't mean to play that, but sure, happy accident, maybe. Uh, we're already okay on keys, and I really think Judas' tongue has the potential to be more useful if we can pick up the pact, maybe? I would be, uh, I'll be down with that. No reason to really keep the lover's card, no reason to use it. It's kind of in purgatory right now. There we go. Noon's habit, uh, that's gonna be a great item for us to get more rerolls with our D6. If we ever come across an arcade, which I'd say we're pretty likely to do on the next floor. Yeah, see? I can do the brimstone shot at the opening, too. How do you feel about that shit, bloat? Fuck you. All right, the crate. Great item, one of my favorites, mate. Good crate, mate. Or, sorry, great crate, mate. Don't be late. I'm going to take Ace of Spades down to the next floor instead of... Uh, instead of Judas Tongue, because uh, our odds of getting a deal with the devil are not nil. Close to nil, though. They're nils bore. Ooh, careful. 
Uh, oh, we can fly, so we might as well at least check. Sure, you know what? Moon card me. Yeah, didn't get anything useful there. Might not end up being a waste of a D6 if we find terminals over here, and uh, we did find terminals over here. I'm gonna take poison bombs. We're in a good situation, uh, bomb-wise. Mr. Mega poison bombs and a decent number of them, I'm okay with. We'll be using bombs occasionally. And I just like bomb synergy. It's one of those things where, in spite of me liking it, I can reroll these items on a on a moment's notice if I if the desire strikes me. But in this case, I think it's just fine to take him. You know what I would actually like? I know I rerolled Harlequin Baby. I would like a familiar like Harlequin Baby. Demon Baby would be the best. I would love a second level cube of meat. Uh, just to uh, arcade? No. Uh, just to give me a chance to kill enemies without having to charge up my brimstone all the way. Because on a room like this, it makes it take like 45 seconds. It's probably like grossly exaggerating the amount of time it's taking, but you get the idea. Oh, Guppy's Paw, huh? We're gonna reroll that. Sure, all good pills must come to an end. The bad ones just go on forever. Hermits. We'll use that after the, after the boss fight, which could be like really close. These poor fuckers. Oh, come on, Cuban meat. Oh, didn't work. There we go. I'll uh, we'll use it after the boss fight. Maybe save a key, and uh, also give us a pretty good deal with the devil chance. I would say. Sweet. Uh, we're not gonna one shot mom, but I don't think it's gonna be too much harder than that. It's gonna be regular version of mom. Uh, we're gonna two shot it. Yeah, we took damage in the process, but that's okay. So we'll take the Polaroid, which we want. I know we could have used uh, some. Oh, nice. Could have used some funky stuff with uh, Guppy's Paw and that, but decided against it. We'll definitely buy the map. Now we have map and compass and Spelunker's head. Makes our life pretty easy. I don't really want to open that shop again. I don't think we can use a key here, actually, until the room's done. Yeah, exactly. And, uh... Alright, what am I psyched about here? We should be able to... It's a see-me floor. That's what I'm psyched about. Not to lose my train of thought completely, but, uh... This judgment could pay out with something. There he goes. Mom's purse. Is it worth taking Mom's purse? We could get a bunch of rerolls here, but I actually think it is worth taking Mom's purse. So we'll pick that up, and then that allows us to take the Ace of Spades down with us. Who knows? Maybe that gives us a Joker card. We become Guppy. We got Guppy, Polyphemus, Brimstone. It's pretty good. So uh, we're gonna. We don't have anything to reroll yet, but we're gonna play until we get to the point where I can. Uh, Oh, nice. We might as well abuse permanent Polaroid invincibility here. Uh, until the point where I can get to the boss trap room. So we'll leave that there. That was a, one of the other seams I was meaning to mention. And we can... Well, we'll only have one reroll that we can really use there. But typically, you know, you know what items you stand a chance to get on the mob trap room. Boss trap room, sorry. Uh, so you know that usually one reroll is enough. And then that'll do it for this floor. A floor that's been pretty... Freaking good, all things considered. Squeezy. I think it's worth it. I don't know if the uh, if our rate of fire is actually substantially increased by the fact that we get a tears upgrade. But I do know I like having extra spirit hearts, and I think Squeezy's a pretty good item, and I'm psyched that it showed up. Might one-shot peep. So close. Could use a little bit of a damage upgrade, I suppose. Alright, we'll pick up the blood bag, that'll give us some much needed speed. And uh, with map, compass, nun's habit, polyphemus, brimstone, the ability to fly, and a good base for uh, next floor's deals with the devil to turn us into guppy, I think we're in a darn good position for our long-term chances here. Outside chance of maybe having the most powerful run we've ever had. Not a good chance. Outside chance is like, uh, you know, the chances for um, the Buffalo Sabres to win the Stanley Cup this year. Not to put this in, you know, terms that mostly only Canadians and upstate New Yorkers would understand. I'm trying to think of another reference. That would make sense. It's like the odds of day one's Gary, day one Gary's incident winning game of the year. Everywhere. Now, we have a second secret room here. I could have put my, I could have tried to like move that other bomb down there, but that was a long shot. Pills again? Well, we have Luckfoot, we have Bombs are Key, and we have I Found Pills. That's like a terrible assortment of uh, options there. And we do have the Sun card. We're going to take that with us. I often, often forget about that. But this one is looking pretty solid, if you ask me. Don't forget to take Ace of Spades with you, and we'll head down to the next floor. 
very quick trip to the boss room here. Yes, I am aware of the fact that we could uh, go to that curse room. Oh, really? That didn't go so well. Uh, I'm not that interested in going to the curse room. Not interested enough to go through like 12 other rooms. We will go to the secret room on this floor, but we'll save it until, you know, closer to the boss room because I already went through this room. <laughs> and I'm going to stick with that decision. Even if it does mess with our rerolls just a little bit. Wow, both secret rooms adjacent to the uh, same kind of area here. No need to put both bombs down at once. Red chest again, and it's spiders. A lot of red chesty uh, second secret rooms here. Not sure what up with that. Enough money to do approximately fuck all. And... One of you fuckers stayed alive. Alright. This is Deal with the Devil Central. Teratoma, I'm so sorry about what's uh, about to happen to you. Just be slightly cautious here. Wait till you get a charge up. Pretty good. A little bit of a longer boss fight than I expected, honestly, just because there's crowds to be controlled here. Thank you, Peeper's Eye. Wow, I uh, did not expect to not get a deal with the devil there, but that's okay. Uh, again, I see the boss trap room, I see the arcade. Don't get me wrong. I also see uh, the boss room, and I think that's a better use of uh, company resources right now. We know this pill? We don't. I know it now, and I like it now. Thank you, Luckfoot, for uh, probably turning that tears downgrade into a tears upgrade. Trying to do something tricky here and uh, exclusively use cube of meat to get that kill. That's a dumb decision. Again, do as I say, not as I do. Because I, I say some dumb stuff, but I do even dumber stuff, at least in Isaac. Uh, we might as well pop down this bomb here. You never know. Raw liver or something. All right, well, this is still a waste of a bomb. We're not going to need too many to beat Mom's heart, though, so it's not like I'm too salty about the overall situation. Uh, terrible damage on my part. Not much of an excuse that I can offer there. Peeper's Eye, if you could take out, like, the little Blastula part, that would be great, because uh, otherwise I can't be trusted to do so. Almost out of Spirit Art. Starting to get a little bit concerned that my own idiocy will be, like, the defining characteristic of this run. Oh, man. Mom's Heart already continuously firing bombs, and it's over before it even really had a chance to begin. Ruka, what's up, buddy? How's it going? Tell me more about how you spent your day so far. Yeah? Oh, that's incredible. I always feel the need to reiterate that our cats are extremely well treated. So whenever you hear them meowing, even if it sounds like it's the most like pressing shit in the world, it's just like, say hello to me, which is what I'm doing. Ruka! All right, all your biological needs are taken care of, buddy. Do you have some self-actualization problems that maybe I could help you with? Didn't think so. So I got the one up there. I was too busy talking about my cat to, uh, talking to my cat, not just about it, to uh, actually talk about it. But hey, uh, I'm super stoked to have the one up. That actually gives us, combined with the sun card, like it makes us pretty much unkillable. And if we can take both of those things to the chest, which is looking extremely likely that we'll be able to do, um, we'll be sitting pretty much in the best spot you can possibly imagine. So, every one of these shots is going to take off like 15% of Isaac's health. Pretty good estimate if I do say so myself. Although I think it's actually more like 17%. Because we're getting through the phases a little bit more quickly than I had uh, anticipated, but not a lot more quickly. These late game boss fights uh, are shaping up to be some of the easiest rooms we could possibly imagine because most of the ways I seem to take damage with this much uh, damage of my own is just by walking into enemies that are mobile. Enemies that stay in the same position don't seem that problematic to me. I don't know why we're getting tarot cards out of all this stuff. Joker? Really? Two of spades. Pop that. Might as well. Um, we'll use the Joker card right away. That gave us two guppy items. Uh, sure. This could be fun, I guess, is what I'm trying to get at here. It's trading a one run in for a run that is, uh, well, now that we have those spirit arts, a lot safer, but it was, it's a risky situation. Uh, 
So we still have the Sun card, and we still oh we have two Sun cards, which doesn't really affect us all that much. I think I'm gonna take Scapular, and everything else is gonna get rerolled here. So now that we're Guppy, uh, our our shots are just gonna do like or our flies, I should say, are gonna do an extraordinary amount of damage. This is unlikely to help us. I don't even think it helps us like absorb one extra hit, but like why not take it? And we should be in like an incredibly good position here. I do wish that we could generate more flies, but you can pick your friends and you can pick your nose, but you can't pick your friend's nose. Bit of risky here because I could have picked up uh, X ray specs by accident, but that's okay. We got three shitty items uh, as our penance there. As our uh, our punishment, or as our reward, I guess, depending on your perspective. We'll have a chance to reroll those, of course. And as of right now, every room that we come across, we're one shotting all of the enemies in them. So I'm not overly concerned. I, Peeper's Eye might have just finished the job there. I'm not even sure what happened, really. Uh, that's an easy room, so this will be our last reroll generated right here. Okay, you know what? I was wrong. I'll admit it. We didn't one-shot Gertie. Gertie ended up being a two-shotter. My mistake. But this run is basically, uh, it's sunk. We're gonna win. Our chances of losing, uh, nearly nil, I would suggest. Might as well pick these up just so we don't re-roll them into the same thing. Charm of the Vampire is, uh, trashed here. We're not even gonna touch it, even though we had it on the last run. So yeah, I mean, we have Lard. I'll pick it up just to guarantee our win, but I don't think it's necessary. Ruka, how's it going, buddy? He'll reply. He's mad because I've been recording all day. This pays for your cat food, man. And that might be a thank you. I'm going to assume that that meow is a thank you. That's the beautiful thing about, you know, pets is you can pretty much just, you know... Imagine they're saying whatever you want them to say. Yumhart, you know, basically halves our damage on this final boss fight, which makes it just a joke. All right, flies. You know who to aggro on. Oh, that was bad damage on my part there. Pretty silly. No need to use Yumhart. Yumhart doesn't actually have our damage. That was a, a gross oversimplification because we still have a lot of spirit hearts. It halves our damage, like, twice. Anyway, that's going to do it for that run. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.